So you're struggling with comparison. Stay tuned to find out what I did to break myself from this nasty habit for good. Hi, welcome back to Humble Homemaking. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about comparison. So what is comparison? Comparison stems from lack of purpose, lack of confidence in who you are and what you have been given in your life. I've been there, comparing myself to everyone and everything. And let me tell you, it is exhausting. It is so exhausting setting unrealistic standards and unrealistic expectations for yourself. And from that, negative emotions can arise and take over. Feelings of doubt, anxiety, depression, jealousy, anger, frustration, the list goes on, you guys. A lot of us are naturally competitive. Healthy competition is totally fine, but when your healthy competition turns into comparing and bringing others down or bringing yourself down in the process, that's where it can become dangerous. We all want to know where we stand in life, where our place is in life, and how we stack up to one another. We fail to realize that what we lack is not external, but it is internal. So when we are comparing to everyone, we are only comparing to what we see and what we, the way we perceive things and the way we perceive others. Inferiority complex consists of feelings of not measuring up to standards, a doubt and uncertainty about oneself, and a lack of self-esteem. Some examples of, of the inferiority complex are, I'll never amount to anything because I don't look like the girls in the magazine, I'll never be smart enough, if only I had hair like her. And then, on the other hand, we have the superiority complex, which is an attitude of superiority which conceals actual feelings of inferiority and failure. Some examples are, I know my presentation was better than his, wasn't it? I'm way better at blank than she is. Yeah, her picture is okay, but mine is great. I got way more engagement and likes than she did. That is a false sense of entitlement. Both of these are equally damaging, and although one, the superiority complex, gives us this temporary ego stroke and satisfaction, we will start to compare ourselves in a negative light, the inferiority complex, when we find somebody that is better than us to compare ourselves to. So when we compare, it's this vicious cycle of going back and forth from feeling superior to feeling inferior to feeling superior to inferior. It is a vicious, vicious cycle. Comparison can destroy and steal our contentment with life. The easiest and most destructive way that we can compare ourselves is through social media. And I know so many other videos talk about this, but just hear me out. We are isolated in our thoughts when we're scrolling through explore feeds or scrolling through our news feeds and all we see are things to compare ourselves to. It used to be just magazine and TV that we would compare ourselves to, but now social media takes it to a whole new level. We're comparing ourselves to people on the other side of the world, so it's just a lot easier to compare now. Unfollowing and isolation from social media can work, but it's just, it's not realistic. The extremes of being addicted to social media or not having social media at all are both pretty equal in my opinion. You just have to find that healthy balance. A lot of people will tell you to take breaks from social media, take a whole year off social media. But then what I see happening is a lot of people will take, all, take those breaks off social media and then jump right back on to become even more addicted to social media. So it's kind of like a, not working. I'm not a fan of extremes. We need to take a step back from social media, however, and realize what we are exposing our hearts and our minds to. So comparison can be a tool to direct or redirect us in the direction that God wants us to go. So are you comparing yourself to things that you might be able to change? Can you work on these things? What about the things that you can't change? I had to reject the temptations of what I knew was my world. So, so even though I said unfollowing and isolation don't work. I did find the balance in that. So when I was comparing myself to girls that were showing off their bodies online and using it to promote certain products or their Snapchats or whatever, I just felt that those type of people weren't the, the wholesome people that I wanted to follow. So I removed them from my list. I basically was unfollowing anybody that was posting provocative images, posting negative content, posting things where they were just showing off their lifestyle in a 
glorifying manner and some of you might be like well that's kind of judgmental that's kind of harsh but I don't want to fill my mind with those things I don't want to see some half naked girl's body I don't want to see a bunch of negative or derogatory memes I don't want to see a bunch of negative stuff on my feed every single day we have the power to control what we see on social media and that my friends is freedom so I came up with a 21 day goal for myself regarding social media and real life and I found the healthy balance I needed so that I would stop comparing myself. Rule number one, I muted everybody that I followed. At my Instagram after that, my, my feed was empty so I didn't have anybody to scroll past and I didn't have anybody to compare or look at. Rule number two, I was not allowed to scroll through my explore feed at all. So I couldn't hit that little magnifying glass and I couldn't scroll through my explore feed. That was not allowed for 21 days. Rule number three, when I posted something new, I wasn't allowed to check my phone every 10 minutes to see how many likes I got or to scroll through my feed. Rule number four, I turned off my notifications for Instagram so that I wasn't being notified whenever somebody followed me, liked my posts, sent me a message, or commented on something. Rule number five was to focus on my personal goals without the help of the internet or social media. For the next 21 days, I did just that. I changed up my whole routine. Instead of checking Instagram first thing when I woke up in the morning, I started reading my Bible and I finished a book that I was just slowly working through the chapters. I finished it in like a week's time because I wasn't going on Instagram every single morning. Instead, I was reading my Bible, then reading my book. I started to write more. I love writing. I love talking about things. Even if, I, if it's something that I'm not going to share with you on social media, I just, I love writing and social media really took away my my love for writing things and writing down my passions writing down my goals writing down simple things like quotes from books or or verses from the Bible I replaced what I normally did with my 24 hours of precious time with things that I knew in my heart I needed to get done I found myself being more productive with my time getting things done in a timely fashion. I found myself becoming more creative, staying more hydrated. I was no longer missing my workouts or having to cut them down because I sat there for the first 15 minutes scrolling through my phone. I had to get comfortable with what made me uncomfortable. Not going on social media, that was uncomfortable for me because a lot of times I would use social media to distract myself from the things I knew I needed to get done or thoughts I really didn't want to have. I would just scroll on social media for hours and hours and that caused me to become really unproductive and compare even harder and compare so much on a small little four inch screen. And in order to level up, I needed to have faith and master my mind. I found I didn't miss anything important and, and that most people were still posting and saying the same things that they had been posting and saying 21 days prior. Now I actually enjoy posting things again. I actually enjoy the small amount of followers that I have. They are so genuine and so kind. I still don't have my notifications on for any of my social media platforms. And I don't feel like I'm checking my phone all the time and it is such a freeing feeling when I am in charge of checking what I'm getting and checking the messages I'm receiving and not letting my phone dictate what I'm doing because it sent me a notification saying so and so commented on your picture. If I didn't take those 21 days off to read my Bible more and just dive in faith more, I probably wouldn't have understood how detrimental comparison is and how pointless it is. It helped me to see the importance in my faith and how it takes precedence over everyone and everything and how comparison can be so dangerous and deadly to the mind and the spirit. So what I started to do also was I started praying for the people I was comparing myself to. So if you find yourself resenting others for their popularity or success, start praying for them instead. Pray for God to soften your heart towards them, pray for them, and thank God for their success. And if this is somebody that you once found inspiration in you don't necessarily have to unfollow them but, you know, but maybe just mute them so that you're not seeing them in your feed all the time and just check once in a while and if you find that when you go and do that check once in a while and you get nothing but negative feelings inside yourself pray for them maybe time to unfollow them and move on when you compare to others, not only are you tearing yourself down, but you're tearing down the other person as well. And that's not fair. To sum it up, if you find yourself in that same position I was with comparing, then take the 21 day challenge. I will list the rules right here so you can screenshot it. And if you liked this video, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment. If you have any other tips for any of 
for anybody viewing this video, going to the comment section to read anything. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. I talk about all things homemaking, faith, femininity, and parenting. So please subscribe if that's your jive. Didn't mean to rhyme there, but anyway, I'm off to go and make some pretzels, bread, and cinnamon bread. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.